An animal rescue is overflowing with puppy pals. Oh my goodness. Certified dog lady Lori Wallace is live with the pets who are in need of your help. I can't, Lori. It's too much. The cute level. Courtney, I literally almost started crying when I oh, walked up. I know you <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness. So I was cruising around on Facebook. I saw that Itsy Bitsy Rescue had over 60 puppies uh, currently that they're getting ready for adoption. And I had to come out, meet them, see what the rescue's doing. Of course, they're a nonprofit focusing on newborn kitten and puppy rescue. And coming up next hour, we'll talk more about the kittens. But we're going to talk about the puppies now. Um, so take a look. There's a whole bunch of them. And um, we have a lot of different ones to talk about this morning. So I'm holding this little cutie. Uh, my friends here at the rescue have been working hard to get these guys ready for adoption. How did you end up with so many at one time right now? So sadly, um, lots of people are forgetting to spay and neuter their pets, mm. and we end up with the orphaned and abandoned puppies. So for example, the puppy that you're holding right here came from a, a litter where um, oh mama God. didn't make it, oh. so mm. they came to us. And, and we partner with Animal Control, so Bradshaw's a big partner with us. Um, we partner with Yuba County. Oh, so all the shelters call us or when they have neonate babies because they just don't have the means to be able to take care of them. And you guys have a lot of puppies to take care of right now. It is a lot of work. Um, they're having a good old time. She has a bunch of them out. We have the little itty bitty ones, all different uh, ages right now. This one that you're holding, obviously a little bit older. Yeah. Tell us about this little guy. Hi, handsome. Hey. So this is um, this is Linus. He's part of our Peanuts game. Linus. They're actually coming up for adoption um, this week. Week. Oh, okay. And we've had them since they were two days old. They were found abandoned in a box. There's 11 in the litter. Oh my we had three different fosters that have been raising them for the last uh, few months, and they're all they're all in the process of being spayed and neutered. They're microchipped. They're vaccinated, and they're ready to go into their new home. Linda, let's go for a little walk over here and take a look at what we have going on in all these different little crates. Who are these guys? This crew. So we have a couple different crews in here. Um, the little tiniest one. Those are that's our Tahoe litter. They came from South Lake Tahoe. That's Hera and Harvey. And then, <laughs> Hera and Harvey. <laughs> and then the other ones we just got in this last week. Um, they were just they were stray, so they were, they were wandering the neighborhood, even though they, their eyes weren't open yet. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh! Let's see. Let's see this little one here. Let's see if we can. Hera. Oh, this is Hera. Oh my! Oh my oh. goodness! Look at this one. Okay, I gotta tell you something right now. Oh this this crew over here is real turned up. This one right here, they, they are literally bonkers. Tell me about this crew. So those are a gemstone litter. There's seven of them. Uh, their mama got hit by a car when they were three weeks old. So um, we got a call asking if we would take them in and finish bottle feeding them and raising them up. They are amazing little guys. They have a lot of energy. Um, we think they're little, we were told they're German shepherds, but we we think they're we think they're dachshund maybe shepherd mix we just oh never know That's we know they're weird. rescued so our rescued's our favorite breed <laughs> <laughs> they are ready Seriously. to party they have not stopped since i came through the door they are so cute and that one there is like look i can be really well behaved look i'm a good doggy take me look at this one pick me so cute. Adopt me! I'm sweet! Look, I can sit still. You guys need a lot of help from the community to get this job done. Talk about that. Absolutely. We are a completely um, volunteer, donation-run organization. None of us are paid. We do this all out of the goodness of our, our heart and, and being a little crazy, quite frankly. You kind of you hesitated when you said that. You know that, right? Being a little crazy. Um, so, you know, donations are a wonderful thing. We go through literally hundreds and hundreds of potty packs. Ads, um, tons and tons of, of formula, dog food, all of that. I mean, it's uh, the pens, everything. You know, there's a cost to everything to be able to keep them happy and healthy and comfortable. And you know, so anything that can be that can happen to help us um, help us meet our mission of you know saving these little these little lives. I, I can confirm they are happy. They are a happy bunch of dogs so. over here. Um, okay, we're going to stick around. They have kittens uh, that we're going to meet and that are going to be ready for adoption soon. And then also they work with a lot of special needs animals and they need a lot of special help with those guys. So we're going to meet a couple of those friends coming up in the nine o'clock hour. You are going to have to kick me out of here. Oh my I'm staying here Seriously. until my shift ends. I know, okay? That's right. I am not leaving. I don't blame you. Look at Is this guy. Sleep? Yep, oh. tuckered. Hey. So sweet. So cute. Oh my gosh. Oh. I can't handle it.
He's like, what, hello, what? What? Okay. Huh? Just hold me till I fall back to sleep. He's having the weirdest dream. <laughs>